this is not all that difficult. Give you a light on you, sure enough. Here we have the right oracle. Okay. Here we have the right atrium. How do I know this is the right atrium? What do I look for? Inferior vena cava and what? Superior, Superior vena cava. Everybody understand that you want to use those as your landmarks. Those are the ones I'm looking for. So inferior vena cava, superior vena cava going into the where? Right atrium. Okay, so this is the right atrium. So I say identify the chamber. Answer is what? Right, right atrium. atrium. Identify the chamber. Right, right ventricle. Right. How do I know it's the right ventricle? What is this right here? The LAD. Everybody see that? Left anterior descending coronary artery or the anterior interventricular coronary artery. Okay. That separates the what? This right ventricle from the where? Left, left ventricle. ventricle. Good. This right here again is the right ventricle. Therefore, what is this vessel right here? Pulmonary trunk. trunk. Okay. Pulmonary trunk. Now, when we look at this, people say, well, where's the differentiation of when you call it pulmonary trunk and then call it pulmonary artery? Well, everybody see this right here? This is called the ligamentum arteriosum. We'll talk about this um, next class. The ligamentum arteriosum is the separating point between calling it the pulmonary trunk and then the pulmonary artery. Okay, so we look at this model. Here is the pulmonary trunk. There's the ligamentum arteriosum. Everybody see that right there? You guys see it? Okay. So this is the pulmonary trunk, therefore this is the left pulmonary artery. Okay. If we look over here, this is the right pulmonary artery. Right pulmonary artery. Look for the blue. Okay, so look inside the vessel itself for the blue structure. Okay, so pulmonary trunk. Then we have left oracle, left ventricle for the chamber. How do I know that this right here is the left atrium? What are these vessels right here? The left and the right pulmonary veins. Okay, here are the pulmonary veins. Left pulmonary veins and the what? Right, right pulmonary veins. Lead into the where? Left atrium. Does everybody get that? The left atrium. Okay? Does everybody have that? So if we look on the posterior side, this is the left, this is the right. How do I de identify it? To be very honest with you, I look for the inferior vena cava every time. My eyes always gravitate to it because I know the inferior vena cava leads into the where? Right atrium. Therefore, if this is the right, this must be the what? Left. And I confirm it by saying, okay, these must be the pulmonary veins. Makes sense. This right here, vessel, is, the, is that posterior interventricular coronary artery, right? Therefore, if we're looking posterior, this is the left ventricle, and this is the what? Right, right ventricle. Everybody get that? Okay. Identify the pointed part of the heart, yes. apex. Identify the wide part of the heart, yes. base. Okay. Now, let's go through the um, internal part of the heart, and then we'll hit the coronary arteries. What? Right now, we're in the uh, atrium, correct? What are these muscles right here that are found in the atrium called? Pectinate muscles. Remember pectinate? What are they called? Pectinate. Very good. Pectinate muscles. Okay. Then we get to inside the ventricle. Okay. Inside the ventricle. So here we're in the ventricle. All of these muscles right here are what? Trabeculate carnae, aren't they? Trabeculate carnae. And what are this? What is this? This? And these kind of ones? Good. What were they? Papillary, papillary muscles. Good. Those are the papillary muscles. This right here, therefore, is what? Chordae tendinae, and this right here, sorry about that, this right here, no, 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 I want to help. This right here is called what? Which one? Say it. No, what is this? Tricuspid valve, excellent, tricuspid valve. Because these are the chordae tendinae attached to the what? Tricuspid valve. Okay, everybody got that? Okay. So, trabeculate carnae, papillary muscles, chordae tendinae, and tricuspid valve. This, again, if I say identify the chamber, the answer is what? Right ventricle. Then it gets to this valve, which we can label there or I can label there. What valve is this? Pulmonary semilunar valve, because it's going to go up and it's going to join. Where am I? Right here. Everybody see that? Okay. This is having problems. Okay. I don't know why that's having problems there. Oh, there we go, that's why, because this piece has to be in. Okay, so everybody see that? There we go. Okay, so this is the pulmonary semilunar valve, pulmonary semilunar valve. It's okay. Sorry, you okay? I'm fine. Okay. If we look in here, if I open this up, now I, I'm not just going to simply do that and leave that like that, and then I say identify. It's just, it just doesn't, it's not fair. It's not what I think is fair. Okay, 
But let me just tell you that this sits like this. If I have it open like this and say identify the muscle, the answer right here, this is part of the left atrium, what's the muscle in here? Pectinate. Pectinate muscles, good. Then again, what is this right here? Nope. Papillary muscle. What's this right here? Papillary muscles. Can you guys see that? Can you see it back there? Okay. Then all of this here and here is called what? Trabeculae carnae. Okay, it's called trabeculae carnae. If I say identify this structure here, what is this structure here? Chordae tendinae. Good, this is chordae tendinae. Then what is this right up here, that solid structure? Bicuspid valve, also known as the mitral valve, okay? If I say to you, identify the structure here, the answer is what? Good, okay? Now, if we look at, no, I'll never ask that that way, okay? Does everybody have what we've done so far? Okay, now we lead into, are we? So here we have the left uh, ventricle, then we have this here. This is what? What is this structure going up right here in red? The ascending aorta, right? Ascending aorta. If we open it up, we see a valve inside. So I'm gonna put my stick on it so you can see it. Right, see it, the valve? Cheap seats, see it? That is the what? The aortic semilunar valve. Okay. If you noticed what my eyes did, I knew I wanted to get aortic semilunar valve. So the first thing I tried to do is identify where is the aorta. So you're not always, it really isn't the easy way to just try to memorize each thing individually. You kind of want to know where is one thing next to the next. Okay. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I think you still get it anyway. Okay. You want to make sure you identify things in relationship to some sort of landmark. Does everybody have it so far? Okay. So let's go back to this. Now, can I borrow your book? Perfect. Okay, so now, we said left and right coronary arteries, ascending aorta, arch of aorta, and what? Descending aorta. We have three branches off of the arch of aorta, okay? We have the brachiocephalic trunk, we have the left common carotid, and the left subclavian. Aorta, brachiocephalic, common carotid, left one, and subclavian, left one. Easy way to remember it, just remember your A, B, C's. Aorta, brachiocephalic, common carotid, and it's going to be the left, and then subclavian, which is also your left. Aorta, brachiocephalic, common carotid, and subclavian. And the two, the last two are gonna be lefts. Does everybody get that? So just remember your ABCs and you'll, you'll be good with that, okay? Does everybody have that so far? Okay, good. Now, the last thing I wanna go over, we're gonna be going over EKGs next week. So I'll be adding uh, to what we're doing right now. So this is a good introduction. This right here is known as the sinoatrial node. This is known as the sinoatrial node. People shorten it down to SA node, okay? Now, beyond this test, once we get past this test or on the lecture exam, you may see SA node, that's okay. But for this exam, you must write down sinoatrial node just to prove to ourselves that we actually know what SA stands for. Probably for the rest of your life, you'll never refer to it as sinoatrial, probably just SA. But again, for now, we wanna make sure you know what it actually means. So this is the SA node or sinoatrial node. You don't physically see anything on a heart that indicates where it is. They do it based upon electrical testing, okay, to know where this, um, where these cells are located. So these cells are actually different than the cells that you see that make up the myocardium, okay? They're known as conducting cells. They have a high electrical activity. They display something called automaticity, meaning that these cells are responsible for the contraction of the heart. They send the electrical signal throughout the heart for it to actually cause the heart to contract. And we'll talk more about that in lecture. So this right here is going to be the sinoatrial node. It sends an electrical signal through these fibers. And these fibers, they only identify it on this model as these little dots. They would be throughout, but they only identify it on this model as these little dots or indentations. They are very hard to see. You may not be able to see it all the way in the back, but they're small indentations. 
okay? Those small indentations, which you would be able to find throughout, are called internodal fibers. What are those small indentations called? Internodal fibers. Good, internodal fibers. They all lead to this other structure here that the company has painted green. Again, there's nothing painted green in your heart. There's nothing there that really indicates where exactly it is. But we know that it rests on the border between the atrium and the ventricle, okay? Therefore, we refer to this as the AV node because it sits at the border between the atrium and the ventricle. So it's known as the what? A AV node, okay? Makes sense, right? Okay. From the AV node, the AV node is gonna collect the electrical signal and then send it through the ventricles. So it collects it at the AV node, so it goes SA node, internodal fibers, AV node. From the AV node, it then sends a signal. Now I like this part because it still shows some of the white fibers. These fibers right here, Okay, these fibers right here. Now they're not muscular fibers, we're not talking about protein fibers, we're talking about cells, okay, electrical cells. These bundle of cells that are fibrous-like, okay, like string-like, are known as the bundle of Hiss, okay, the bundle of Hiss. So again, SA node, internodal fibers, AV node. From the AV node it goes to the what? Bundle of Hiss. The bundle of Hiss then splits into this white and this white structure. This is known as the right bundle branch, and this is known as the left bundle branch. Again, you're not going to have anything that physically shows it on an actual heart, but you do have these electrical cells. So this right here is the right bundle branch, and this is the left bundle branch. Both of these bundle branches give off fibers, which start here and extend all the way through here and go throughout the ventricles. Now understand, it's not a flat structure. We're dealing with three-dimensional structures, so these structures right here, which we call Purkinje fibers, are actually going to separate and move throughout the heart. It's not just going to be in one plane. They're actually going to be like this. So everybody understand that? And embedded within the heart itself. So again, these white structures here are going to be called Purkinje fibers. Okay? So to review it, SA node or sinoatrial node, internodal fibers, AV node, atrioventricular node, Bundle of Hiss, right bundle branch, left bundle branch, Purkinje fibers. I'll usually, if I'm looking for SA node, I'll say identify the green structure. Okay, I know you know it's not green, you know I know it's not green, but it helps you identify where it would be located. What atrium is it found on, right or left? Right. right. Good. SA node, what are the dots? Internodal fibers. What's the green structure here? AV node. What's the name of these fibrous structures right here? Bundle of Hiss. What is, and the way I usually put it is I put the arrow in this direction, so I'm indicating only this one, okay? If I say identify these white fibers or these white structures, what would you say? Right. Right bundle branch. Identify these white structures. Left bundle branch. Identify these white structures. Purkinje fibers. Everybody got it? That's pretty much the way it works, okay?